Next up for the Halloween Spook Fest, we have Black Astral. An old man in a dying world has his prayers seemingly answered by some force in this Yume Nikin styled uh, game. It's a bit different from other Yume Nikki games, though. But at the same time, has a lot of similarities. I guess we'll see what I mean by that as we hop in, because I have not played that far. Of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do you think about giving it a like? If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. I'm trying to reach partner, but I need more viewers to reach that. So if you want to come by to lurk or to talk, whatever you want to do, adding to that view count really does make a difference, so please consider it. Also, I have a pretty cool Discord community, and I have a coffee link now if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so check them out if you're interested. In any case, let's go ahead and hop into this. I wonder if this works like a controller. Nope. <laughs> I think all games have been keyboard today. And mouse. The air outside has gotten unbearable. Well, he did say it's unbearable. I guess that's why we can't leave. <laughs> So we live in some sort of um, slightly damaged house above a, a miasmic void. <laughs> Interesting. Home. Oh, we are gambling, by the way. We have sorcery, a crinkly piece of paper. Collect sorcery and spells. Travel to escape this world. Save your game. Pray if you're lost. So we want to get out of this world. Oh, it doesn't look like a very good world. Shift for special interactions from equipped sorcery. Okay. A furry menace haunts my dreams. Goddamn furries. Oh, we got here. Crystal ball. Ah, yeah, it's, the save, it's our save point. That works for me. Okay, let's see here. What do we have here? My shrine. Pray? Yeah, sure. Can't hurt. <laughs> Maybe it hurts something. There is a portal. Acquire prayer. And what does that do? Beseech outside forces. The doctor won't be seeing me for a while. Once it came by, I knocked on my door. I hit, of course. I almost didn't make it. I just, I barely shift lets me just get extra dialogue. Once it came by, I knocked on my door. I hit, of course. You said that. Think about the conditions outside saddens me greatly. My back hurts. It's just random, I guess. What matters of manacle shenanigans is it this time? Hmm. I wonder if what else you can say. It seems to be a bit random. I don't smell very nice. I mean, true, you don't seem to have a shower. I like how the very first randomized line we got was a furry menace haunts my dreams. Of course, that was the first one we ever got <laughs> out of these randomized dialogues. Yeah? Hmm. Very curious. Well, let's go into the portal, I suppose. I was curious about how to use prayer. I, I think I have it equipped. What, wait, we're old. That's our class, old. Oh, I see. Prayer can't be used here. It's probably to escape. Let's probably get out of here, right? 
Yes, yes, it's it's to leave wherever this takes us. Or to get back here, I suppose. Alright. Alright, where let's go this way then. The Nexus. Okay. Hello, Blue. Hmm. Okay, well, I can't get there. Astral. Okay. Hmm. Now, what do we have here? That's fair enough, Blue. Hmm. Acquired Riff Rock. Oh, really? Well, thank you. And what does that allow us to do? Defy dimensions briefly. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, so I can make small hops. I bet that lets me cross that gap I noticed just a moment ago. So we could go right back. Let's keep looking around this area. Hmm. Yeah, that lets us leave. So that's where we came from. Wait, actually, is that where we came from? I will check. Yes, yes it is. Oh, I see. This loops, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't expect rapping, but it kind of caught me off guard this time. I see. This is the only other path here, then. Where does this take us? I assume I can riff walk that as well. Oh, I can't. Alright. Let's walk normally, then. Under the wrapping screen. And there's something down there. Hmm. Yes, another wrapping screen. I always want to make sure, you never know. Something that might just look similar. Alright, I'll bite. What do we got down here? But this doesn't wrap vertically. Good night, Q. Hmm. Okay. Well, that seems to be it for this area, then. Or this section, rather. Not exactly this area, because I know there's one thing that we still haven't found. How do I get to it? Yeah, that. Hmm. Hmm. 
is it landlocked away from everything else? Maybe I can... Oh, that does work here. Alright, hold on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Temple. So it is. Well, this song is in both of my ears, but in separate times. Interesting. Oh, okay. Huh. I found a glitch. I can walk kind of behind the teleport point. Indeed, Crimson. Oh. Oh. Somebody was in a cage and now... Uh... No, hold on. Let me go back there. <clears throat> what is, uh... What's up? More people that like those people were the same as the person that was in the cage. Is okay. So are they trapped here too? Well, nothing's happening. Curious. Wait. No, that doesn't tell me anything. All right, never mind. Just curious if one of these torches had something to do with something. I don't know. Some some sort of puzzle, possibly, but I don't think so. What's over here, then? Ah. I guess it's a window or something, I can't go through it. Wait. Take that back. Apparently I can. I'm not sure if I was supposed to be able to, though. <laughs> Does Rift let me break the game? Maybe in some places. Or is this intentional? Well, there's nothing to do here. Rift Rock to follow the spirit would have actually been a really cool... I would agree, that would have been neat. I mean, yeah, you have to enter this area with Rift Rock so you would have it. It totally seemed like what they were going for. But I just realized, though, can I Rift Rock in the... ominous... S sacrifice circle... room? I didn't think to try it for some reason. Hmm, no. What even is up with that room? Well, I suppose 
I am done here. Though on the way out, I want to check something. Solar. I just wanted to know if there's anything else going on here. Nope, nothing with those either. Okay, all right then. Well. In that case. I guess let's leave. I could use prayer to... Actually, that would be faster. Ding dong. DiGiorno is here. Um. Oh, that costs energy, by the way. Every, using using abilities costs energy, I think. Actually, maybe, maybe not. It's hard to tell. Let me save, regardless. No, that's just some experience meter. I don't know why I have. All right, so let's see here. I can rift walk to the left now, or I can go to the right. What's that? What is to the right? I actually meant the 5-9 thing there, but maybe. <coughs> desert. Seems kind of different looking for a desert. I guess it's nighttime? But you might have a point there too, boy. You may have use that system, didn't it, for the numbers. Hmm. Yeah, the E3. Did I have E2 originally? I thought I did, but I don't know. I probably did, actually. Well, I don't know. I'll just, I'll, I guess we'll pay attention to that when I get another effect. Or sorcery, rather. Ah, I have to rift walk that, which I can. Well, actually, wait, can I rift walk that, or is that too far? Nah, it's totally doable. I kind of felt like I wasn't supposed to do it that way, but, you know, it's fine. Riftwalk seems slightly game-breaking. What? What, that? Is that, like, something in the water? Is this water? It feels like water. Huh. Cat rift walk over there if you're wondering. Or there. Or there. Should I do something with this? I wonder what it is. I, there's not much I can do. I only have Rift walk at Rock and they paired it. And basically a teleport back, which doesn't really help that much. Alright, let's go back into the desert, the greater desert, and see. Good night, Rocky. So we know this screen wraps left to right and that, that I didn't find anything while looking through those areas. So let's do... Let's do... Yeah, let's do like this. See if we find anything doing this. All 
right, we'll go down further. The game had a weird pause there for a minute. Huh. This music is really well chosen for the game. If not composed for it. Really enjoyed it, actually. <laughs> wait! Wait! You see that? There's a thing on my screen. I never noticed that until just now. There's a- if you look at the upper right corner of my screen, do you see it? Uh, the upper right port- like, fourth- fourth portion. You see the little bug? It's- it's not- oh. I- I teleported. I teleported again. Did you see that, too? There's a kid there. Interesting, interesting. But then I teleported somehow, and then I lost track of the kid. There's something to find here, but I don't know how to... hold on. This desert is sending me to different... it's... it's... It's doing this thing where it's sending me to a map that looks a lot like the map I was just on, but it's actually a different map. Hello. Acquire Babu. Is Bab is that a baby? Is that just a baby head on legs? It's a baby head on baby legs. That's all it is. Also, I made it to the bottom of the screen. Babu. It has a pacifier. Huh. Who left the Babu in the desert? The same's like bad parroting. Even if it is a deformed baby, I'm pretty sure it won't handle the desert well. <laughs> I don't know why that would improve its chances exactly. Alright, let's go back up, I guess. I'm not entirely sure how I got to Babu. I just I, I guess I just went down enough. Now I'm all the way back up here. That is really weird. Let's look at Babu. Let's see what it does. Babuda Butechu. Oh, we are... We can now... I can make... Eh! Eh! What can we... Well, <laughs> we found the Fowl Youth. We're an old, we went for an old man to... Babu Babu. <laughs> Can we can we rift walk while Babu? I don't think so. Now I am really quite perplexed as to where Babu Babu would be useful. But let's start by going to the weird pit thing. Babu effective here. I shall cry to it. I shall summon it with cry. It does not respond. All right, never mind then. I wonder if Babu should go into the temple. Though I don't really understand what that would do exactly. So maybe not. I could Babu in that, like, ritual circle and see if that, if that does anything, but... Before that, let's go the other path we haven't taken. Also, Crimson, it's... RPG Maker is just a very easy engine for people to get into. 
I think that's really what it boils down to. Also... Okay, I was just curious. That one little piece floating out there. Alright, do tell me what's over here. What What is within... Ah, oh, the forest, huh? Okay. Sign? Like a s weird tribal sign thing? Oh, we can go this way. I don't know, I just saw the trees in on the edge there. I figured that wasn't a path. Guess it is. Is this a path? No. But over here. Okay, so it's just right. exactly what I was worried about when I saw that. Well, how will I know which path to take? Well, hold on. Actually, wait. Maybe I have a thought. Babu knows the path. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Let's see. I was hoping Cry might give us a, like, a hint. A forest maze that I don't think I have directions for. I don't know, did we see a visual representation of directions or anything? Anywhere else? I don't believe we did. Wait. No. Uh... I guess just keep pushing right. Oh, okay. Acquired Harry. Yeah? Why is a feather quick as the breeze? What are we? Why is a feather? We're like some feral caveman thing. And what did, what, did, what even did I get that off of? What is this? A ghost of some sort? It's semi-transparent. What if I go up a bunch? Is this less... Oh, see? See? A different area. Right sent us to Harry. What's this? Acquired Imp. All right. And what is Imp? Become a Levitating Imp. By Levitating, do you mean like... I can, I can chuckle. Okay, a Levitating Imp. So I can like levitate over some things. I can levitate those little pools. I might be able to take the Imp back to that weird water spot and maybe explore that then. Maybe the Imp. Well, geez, we just got two effects right back to back. Let's go back to Harry. All right, if pushing right a bunch gave us an area and pushing up gave us an area, what about pushing down? Or maybe it, there actually is a combination of directions to go to access these areas, and I got a bit lucky. It's hard to tell.
Yeah, Opt always sends me there. And right sends me there. And down just puts me... Maybe all down does is put you into evil music land. I'm not sure. Well, I, it doesn't seem like down is doing much for me. It doesn't matter too much, though. We got a couple things. We got a movement effect, and we got... Something that seems quite useful, the ability to levitate. Let's see if we can take benefit of that. I don't know where we can exactly take benefit of that, but let's explore. Oh, he can just walk across this. Actually, wait. Imp, can you also walk across it, but also... Wait a minute. Yeah, I can. old man can't. I guess Harry has slight... I guess that's applying it jumps or something. Oh, we can take these effects into the real world? Okay. Interesting. That actually adds an element of... So do we have five now? We have six now. Well, actually, that's right, because we also got Babu, and I forgot to count then. Yep, that counts the number of effects we have. Can I go outside? Some hairy? I guess not. <laughs> Hair should protect us from the miasma. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. I mean... I guess the best course of action is to... Explore old areas and see if there's anything I should... Well, yeah, here first would be good. Going up here. Ah, so... Oh! I wasn't supposed to rift walk this. I was supposed to imp this. Not even Harry can cross that. So rift walk actually glitched a little bit there, I think. If that's the case, then can imp do something here? As well? Imp sounds do not do anything, but I do like how the pitch changes randomly. Alright, so we still don't have, I guess, a solution for that area? Interesting. I mean, it's fair. That's, that's fair, boy. The question is, what do I do now? It seems like there's... I guess going back to the temple would probably be the most logical choice of action now. Just figured I'd pop back out of here and see if there's anything else like... Because the desert seems kind of tricky, right? Like it's got a little trick up its sleeve, I guess you could say. That being said, what about this? No? Okay. Alright, let's go back to, uh... Well... Whatever this portal was called. Next... Astral? Astral. 
So, now that I have a few more abilities, not only should I check the temple again, but also, I'm kind of curious if this area outside the temple has anything as well. As far as I could tell, no. But I got the imp now. I'm kind of curious. Can the imp possibly... Yeah, the imp can still definitely float. Can he just float anywhere he wants? No, he can only float across gaps. He won't just... I was wondering if he could just go off the map, basically. And the answer seems to be no, he can't He can't do that. And I guess that's fine, right? But... Alright, let's go to the temple. Oop. Wrong path. I like how Harry can just cross them too sometimes. I don't even know why. Okay. Now we're here. Wait! The imp! The imp can chase her, can't can it? If I'm correct about that, then that shows why I was able to teleport to that area. For that, though. I would also like to see if there's anything to do here. I do think this is just a room that's unsettling, but maybe? Maybe there's something to do here. They, they, didn't, they didn't respond to Babu, did they? Baby Lee's chanting. Wait, 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 wait. Why is this block? I can't stand on that block. What's here? <laughs> what, what, what is going on? Let's see. Yeah, I can't, I can't stand on that for some reason. I think I might be seeing glitch, I'm not really sure. Alright, let's pursue the temple person. Now, the good news is, this game actually has a small walkthrough on the Yuminiki Wiki site. Yuminiki Wiki. It rhymes. So I might be able to use that. Oh! Hmm. Okay. Acquired Hag. Okay. The guys of something evil. Whoa, our laugh. I also like how they did that laugh. Very bit crunchy in a good way. I'm just like wondering, what if I bring her here, you know? The answer is I don't really think anything. This room is still creepy, though. Hmm. So what's that put us at? Seven effects.
What about the first room we saw, I presume, the Hague? Is there anything in here? Now that we're hurt? No. Alright, I don't know what the Hague does exactly, if anything. Besides being evil, I suppose. <laughs> I guess that's what you can do. I, okay, I like how many, how many times I can just cross gaps with like effects that I wouldn't expect to cross gaps with, but... I guess she was floating before, so why not? <laughs> Um, hmm. Let's... I might actually look at the guide at this point just to figure out what I'm supposed to do next. I feel like I've done everything I could find on my own. And, oh. Oh, that's, that's not normal. What happened here? I don't remember, I think it was just a casual mist before, but now... Okay. Just checking around the Nexus a bit. Everything seems normal for the portals. Right, let's go home then. Ah, the weather in the real world, or the normal world, is also behaving equally oddly. And the weather here seems... okay, well... Alright. What exactly... Let's look around a bit. And once again, I've got into a wall. <laughs> I also think I know why I went into the wall. Let me guess. These little, these right here, right? Yep. The little vines or whatever on the wall, they accidentally have collision. Or I have walkability. So, can I leave now? No. But the weather most certainly changed. Hmm. I, I don't know. Let me see. As far as, I mean, for all I know, that could just be the end of it. Let's see. I am checking. I am checking to see... Ah. All right. Doing a little research. Okay. Well, there's one thing I just learned. The forest. It actually is a path. I found Imp and Harry kind of incidentally, but it's not just a matter of pushing one direction. Um, also, we're not done, I think. Despite the weather change, it seems there's more to do. Maybe. Possibly? The guide doesn't really make it completely clear. But I did learn one thing that is useful. To access the Imp in the maze, we had to go up, up, up. To access Harry, we had to go up, up, right, apparently. That indicates to me that, yes, you do have to mix directions up to access some of those things. So that indicates to me that maybe up, up, left might do something. It's worth a shot. Wait, why is this song already played when I enter the forest? Let's try up. Up left. I'm just curious. I'm curious. 
It'd be a good counterpart to what we just did. How about... Up, up, down. I know that sounds stupid, but... That's not what I'm here. No. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, the forest wasn't originally just playing this ominous song right off the bat, was it? So that seems a bit off now. Like, the song definitely played here, but I had to go through the maze a bit before it triggered last time. I wonder. Even this area. Even this area has the rain effect now rather than the fog effect. I'm not sure what that's supposed to entail or imply. Why is it now, instead of being like a dangerous miasma of like po poisonous air, why is it now raining? And is that a, or is that rain? And is it a good thing? Or is it worse? Oh. Right bye. I think I found another uh, tile that should not have walking collision in that direction, but does! <laughs> I am going places. <laughs> Alright, anyways. <laughs> and that's where I got the imp, that little shrine, so... Um, so here's what I know about this game, right? There's a walkthrough on the wiki, but all the walkthrough does, it, go, it goes through getting the exact effects I already have and tells you how to get them. That's all the walkthrough does. But the main game page, it does show that there are other effects. What I can't figure out is, are those effects in the game? I think they are, but I don't know how to get them, at least not yet. I am merely looking. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Oh! Hey guys, guess what? I think I figured out the mystery. Check this out. Now hopefully this works. I think it will. Should be okay. I'm gonna go back into the... I'm gonna save. Uh, but I wanna try something. Let me also get out of the outfit. Alright. So. Here's what I learned. Closing the game. For a moment. Because I noticed... Let's try this. Can you interact, interact with the miasma area with a witch? Oh, I see what you're thinking. That might work too. Possibly. But before we try that, I'd like to try... One other thing. Okay, hold on a minute. Try it again. You ever just unzip a file and it's like, no, and then you do it again and it works fine? I have that happen sometimes. Sometimes it's just like, the parameter's incorrect! And I'm like, what? I'm pretty sure you're wrong, but okay. And then I do it again and it's like, alright, we're good. It's like, okay, thanks. 
All right, uh, just 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 checking. I think this will work. I really, I'm gonna cross my. If this doesn't work, that's okay. Because I have an alternative, but yeah. So check this out. Okay. If I start the game back up now. Just a moment, I gotta recapture the game. There. Okay, we're back. Let's continue. Ah. Good. Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I had a feeling that might cause a glitch. But don't worry, I have a solution. I'm I'm I I big brained the whole situation. I'll explain it in a minute once I got it working. All right, that basically tells me that how many steps is it? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Two, one, right, right, up, up, up. Okay. I might be able to get out. If I can't get out of that glitch state, we might... The worst case scenario here is I might have to restart the game. But I'm not really concerned about that because if I immediately go for the Harry effect, then it won't really take that long. <laughs> but, uh, let's see here if this works. Hell yeah! It worked. Colors are a little weird, but I think that's okay. Okay, you're probably wondering, what did you do? Oh, I fixed the colors. Nice. So you're probably wondering, what the hell did you just do, Charb? So I updated the version of the game. And it looked like bringing my save file over was a little bit on the rough side, but it worked, so that's what matters. Right, let's go back to the yes okay so now that I updated my game apparently let's see here according to what I understand I tried my best, but it's up on the workshop. What are you talking about? Alright, so if I go and put the Harry effect on again, there we go. Right, so here's the thing. I have no idea what you're talking about, Meta, but here, check this out. See? All right, let's see here. So all I knew was that the forest held more secrets. All right, where are we going? Rift. Very interesting. Okay. Can I rift walk that? No? My back hurts. Wait. Oh, right, I have to be in normal form to rift walk. Got it. Also, no, I can't cross that. Okay. Now, what do we have here? Oh, I probably could rift walk this, though. Or I could just imp it. Imp might be a simpler solution here. Okay, so there's an up path. 
but there's also a right path. Can I go... No? Alright. Uh, YouTube's gonna love the compression of this effect of the screen, I just realized. <laughs> so yeah, I can't go up. I can't go left, but I can go up and I can go right. Okay. Alright, let's go right. Hello. Um. Hmm. They seem to be, like, up higher. Okay. I don't like this music. It's getting more and more... Whatever it is. <laughs> Major salt golden sun vibes? Really? I don't... I only played the first one, so I'm not sure. I do not like this ambience in the back of my brain, thanks to the... Not the music, but behind the music. I can't rift walk up to these. They're just kind of there. Yeah, that droning sound, man. It's very off-putting because it's like burying itself in my hearing. I like it, though. Yeah, I, I mean, that, that looks like a situation where I can look at the cool guys, but I can't do anything about the cool... Oh, okay. Uh, left? Oh, it's actually... Alright. Saw it a maze this time, I think. Uh, at least I don't know, actually. Okay, where am I going now? What's this? Hello? What's this? Oh, it's these guys. I guess we went back to the temple. Hold on, wait, what's to the right before I go any further? Wait, there's something here. What is this? Oh. What is this thing? Oh my goodness. I can't tell if it's some sort of like architecture statue or if it's like some sort of creature. It's like a watcher, yeah. The moonlight shining through it is interesting too. I wonder if there's something I could do with it, actually. I think it's just to look at. It's pretty neat, though. All right, back into the temple, or at least an area that sure looks like the temple. So what do we have here? We got these guys. I'm a little concerned. They are blocking doorways, which kind of indicates to me I need to... Well, actually, wait. Let's try... No, okay. Does not seem the Hague can actually interact with them, which is surprising because they... Seemed to be in the same location, so I kind of figured she was enslaving them, actually. Uh... Babu? Will you move for Babu? No? Well, they're not gonna move for Babu. Who are they gonna move for? 
Hmm. Probably not just normal guy, but hey, you never know. <laughs> His ramblings are kind of funny if I stand in front of a person. I don't smell very nice, he tells the random person he's talking to. Alright, let's see. Well, they're just blocking the way, and I have a distinct feeling that there's- if this is a Yuma Nikki style game, there is a there is a common effect in Yuma Nikki games that we don't have right now. And anybody besides Poi, try to guess what it is. I say besides Poi because I want to see what- I want to see if other people can figure it out. You're, you know the game. You know these games too well. Bike? No, I have that. Knife. Crimson. Crimson got it. If NPCs are staying your way and there doesn't seem to be a new game to get rid of them, uh, you might have to kill them. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, what did I just walk into? Look at that again. It's like, it's like a 3D model, almost. It's kind of weird to see an RPG maker like this. Alright, what's in here? Hello. Uh, it's like a frog, kind of. Alright, there's like lakes here. Can I cross on the imp? No. I mean, what is, no, it looks like a piranha plant. But it's also kind of, this area kind of feels like a has a frog aesthetic going on too. Alright, let's try rift walking. No, okay, that doesn't work either. Like, there's not much to do here, it's just this thing. <laughs> I like how he always goes back to that. Um, hmm. There doesn't seem to be much to do here then, at least not at the moment. Once again, I might need a murder weapon. Not sure, though. What are the actual fuck? Well, this is kind of neat. You can do some cool stuff by just just putting down a really interesting background in RPG Maker and then just putting some collision to it. But what is this? Another thing to look at, but can I do something with it? This feels like some sort of cyberspace that kind of like split into something else, like it collided with something it shouldn't have, and got smushed up and broken apart. I like it. It's very cool looking, but there's not much to do here, unless I can rift walk. Honestly, this environment's hard to tell if I even can. I don't think it can, though. No. So once again, really neat, but how much I could do? How do I leave? Ah, that's how. A cyberspace is collapsing in on itself? Yeah. That's most, that most definitely the impression it gives me. Alright, that was entirely just the left path. Let's go down. Oh wait, we came from down right. Uh, let's throw right. I can look down here? Interesting. Can I do that anywhere? Yes, I can. Huh. Hmm. 
<laughs> Hi, Caliber. We're playing a Yumaniki style game. It's a pretty good time. I, I don't... What the... Okay. Part of the trouble here is just figuring out where the hell I'm supposed to stand. I... There's like a glow over there. Can I... Can I go there? I'm not so sure. I mean, I guess I could try rift walking or something. Or I guess Imp might... Imp might be able to go somewhere, maybe. I don't know. This might be another weird dead end. I seem to be running into nothing but very interesting dead ends. Which are at least very interesting, but they're still dead ends. <laughs> weird. I, I, yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else I can go on this particular section. Wait, that kind of looks like a doorway right there. Can I? No. Okay. I like how I can look downwards for no apparent reason in this room. <laughs> I'm quickly running, I'm well, I'm quickly running out of paths to check out because there's really only one left. Unless of course it splits more too, but. All right, up we go then. Okay. Huh. What? What? <laughs> Why? I don't know if that's supposed to be there. <laughs> Tunnel shift! So that is, if you're wondering what the fuck happened there, I can explain. RPG Maker XP has some preset vehicles. You know, your typical RPG st stuff like you got your boat, you got your airship. So that's, the t that's just the standard boat with the standard boat music. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why is that there? Is that supposed to be there? Probably not. It's in my... Well, it's not actually in my way. Never mind. Uh, there's nothing else to find, though, is there? Now, it's entirely possible that because I made a... I, I, I started my game in one version, and then I moved that save to another version, it's entirely possible that created some issues. Everything seems to be working more or less fine, aside from that random... <laughs> random fucking boat. <laughs> but uh, I can't. Hmm. So here's the thing: the creator themselves said that the current game has eight sorceries, ten if you include prayer note. Which, in other words, to put it, to make that more simple, I have seven out of eleven things. So there are four things I am missing, four sorceries I am missing. I guess. Uh, oh wait, no. I'm sorry. I'm missing three sorceries, and there's a, a th another thing. If you include an unusable item, you could find in game. Apparently. For those of you updating using a version 0, 0.01 save file, there's a visual bug with loading. Turn left to save on the spot again. We'll fix it. Oh, okay. So he actually intends people to reuse their save files for the later version. I guess that's. I guess that means that it should be fully functional, as in we should be able to find the rest of the sorceries. Not sure why this boat's here. Was this boat supposed to be something else? Selene! <laughs> Alright. Um. Uh, hmm. A large new dream world full of smaller dream worlds. 
apparently that's where we're at. Let me actually look at the images. Okay, whatever the fuck that is is definitely something I haven't seen. Okay, there's... I'm looking at images. I'm looking at... things. And a new song that was... to a small area that was previously silent. What? Huh. It might be the unused item. Why would we just leave it there, though? It's so... it's total breaking. <laughs> Well, okay, in the cyberspacey kind of environment that we keep finding, there seems to be a path that goes to the north that I don't really know what it does per se. It's just, it leads to a room. There's a path that is, there's a room that is entered from the south of it, so like. In other words, I'd have to enter on the north side of a screen. Probably. This is called Black Astral. Can you mention can I mention your voice is oddly soothing? Oh thank you. I wouldn't be surprised if it was in here, actually, but I can't seem to go any further this direction. I just don't know. I'm just not sure. The problem is these really abstract rooms, I wouldn't be surprised if they had an exit I couldn't see. Hey, you know what we're gonna do, actually? You know what would be more efficient than what I'm currently doing? I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna go save. Wait, how do I leave this area? Well, I guess I can use the, uh, prayer. Here's what we're gonna do. Wait, what? No! No, no! No, no, hold on. That is my... I'm just kinda- wait, you noticed that, right? This area has... This area has music, and then it has other music now. What? Okay, let's look around while this play- Oh, it's gone now. No, 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 wait, bring that back. It's like random chance. That must mean something, right? There must be a reason for it. I just figured I'd look around the Nexus while it's played. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. This doesn't seem to be anything different, it's just different music. I don't... Very odd. Alright. I'm gonna do something that only somebody of my skill set, I guess, could do in this situation. Which is... I'm gonna close the game again for a moment. Bear with me. We're gonna close the game for a moment. And I'm going to... Let's see. This was made in... What was this made in? 
which version of RPG Maker? This is 2003, right? Yeah, this is actually 2003. Okay. Hmm. All right, that case. It's not the one that I... No, I do own that one. The only versions I don't own is... The one after MV, and I don't own 2000. That's the other one I don't own. But I have actually legitimately purchased both versions of RPG Maker, simply because it actually helps me sometimes to have them. Um, let me open the project file. One moment. See, if I can't figure out where I'm supposed to go, I'll look at the code. Um, so, hold on. I'm pretty sure there's one after MV now. Um, one, one minute, though. Gotta find the project file. Which is buried away. Under this page. There we go. Under that folder. That folder folder. Okay. Open. Hmm. No? I would have figured that would open it. Uh, hold on. Open projects. What fucking... What black magic did you ensemble this folder with? This should simply open and... Yeah, this is definitely 2003. Wait! This is the Katakawa version. I can't open this. This is an alternate version of 2003, I guess you could say. At least I don't think I can open this. Can I open this? Well, it should be as simple as dragging this into this menu here. Uh, hold on a minute. I need a big brain. Wait, did I just... I think I just made a... Whoops. Yeah, project one. Where did I put that? I guess I just put that in the... Sure. You know what? That's fine. I actually made a new game. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, put that right in there. Okay. It's not, where I, it's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. <laughs> Project 1. There it is. Yes, that's how I would be laid out until our 3 project. Oh, that's why I can't read it. That makes sense, actually. All right. I, I, don't worry, I got smart. There we go. There we go. I have it open now. Now let's see. So I'm not going to show you guys what I see, but basically I can see every little map in the game. Which also means that if I'm getting confused somewhere, well, I can see what's confusing me. Hopefully I can solve this mystery quickly, but give me one moment. Everything should be within the forest, right? Technically speaking. So if there's anything the game has to hide from me, I can find it by simply... Well, that's weird. Is it a vent switch for these creatures? In this, in, in Basically, event switches are basically something that tells the game, okay, make this thing appear, or make this thing not appear. The event switch is simply called, never turn this on. And it's on. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> what? Why is it called "Never Turn This On"? <laughs> that's that's very ominous. <laughs> A 
Also, what's extra intriguing here? All right, let's see here. Ah. Uh, let's see, action button, buff characters. So there's nothing there. Right. I'm going to assume, whoa. I don't know what that event's doing, but I'm gonna leave it alone. All right. First off, yes, we found everything in the forest maze. Prove that. And, hmm. How the hell does that exist? Must be one of these side events. Sorry this isn't terribly exciting, but I am doing some research now. Eh, there's DigiNexus. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I'm looking for transfer player events. Those are events that basically take the player from one screen to another. And I want to see if there are any events that I simply didn't recognize and I was like, oh. So it's something that makes me go like, oh, okay, that's something I missed. That's essentially what I'm looking for at the moment. Oh, I looked at the 3D rooms though. You know, the really weird rooms that we were exploring and I couldn't really find the where the ground was. Can confirm the ground was exactly where I thought it was. In other words, there weren't any secret paths there. Can confirm that. Because basically, under the event viewer, I can see exactly where every single path is. Um, so those abstract areas become less abstract when I can view them through this. Let's see. Um, oh, hold on. Oh! Wait, how do you get to... Okay. I learned one thing. Okay, here's something confusing. I don't even begin to understand this. Let's let's go back into the game. I'm not actually trying to edit the game right now. I'm trying to learn. So let's go back in. I found at least one thing that I think we can do. I am confused by it. But let's give it a shot. Fortunately, I can have the editor open and the game open at the same time. There's no harm in that. Um, Granted, if I want to actually edit something and save the changes, I may have to restart the game. I'm not sure. Depends, actually. RPG Maker is... Well, it varies on version and how the game's even put together. It can change what actually triggers instantly or not. Anyways, let's go back to the forest. It is still our place of things that happen. Um, and what we want to do... You know, the first thing that's really weird to me, doesn't make any sense. You know how the forest here goes off... Actually, wait, can I? No. Okay. Hold on a sec. Turn port. Yes. 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 Yes, okay. Confirm there's no path down there. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah, basically, I'm more or less just trying to find paths via the editor. Now, let's see. Here's something that weirds me out. This area right here is confusing to me. Here's the confusing thing. That shouldn't exist. But it does. That, that graphic. I don't know how they spawned that. Okay, now that we're here, this is where I actually wanted to be. This area here. Apparently it has some secrets, and I didn't even realize it did. So, um, if I'm correct, how do I do this then? Do I just use amp, maybe? Ha! <laughs> so, check this out. See these little see these little things that I thought were background details? Well guess what? They aren't. He can walk on them. 
not only that. Well, hold on a sec. Before I go, before I show more. Are there any up here? Yes, yes, there are. So, there we have, yeah, that is, okay, that opens up a lot more information. Okay, there's a lot more here we can see now that we know that. For instance. Ta-da. <laughs> what? I, I'm not? Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay. Interesting, I'll have to turn down your offer, sorry. Uh, I'm not leaving just yet. <laughs> okay, so... So obviously, it looks like there's a path over here too, but I don't believe that's actually true. I don't think there's any way to actually get to that line right there. So, let's go this way. Imp is the most reliable effect to have on to determine what you can actually visit and what you can. Can I leave Imp while... Apparently I can. Can I rift walk? No, I cannot. Okay. Yeah, I didn't expect that to be a path. Did any of you? Alright, it's in here. Uh... Is this the Luchador Arena? I shall visit. I was just like, <laughs> two doorways, technically. Hello? Acquired Mask. Seething Mask, a disguise of rage. Huh. Maybe the uh, people that were saying my way in that one room will move. Masked. Now that I have that. Not sure. That's my that's my immediate thought. Yeah, Imp, Imp is the only one that can actually walk on this. Okay. So here's the thing. We're, that Knowing that we could tightrope, does, that does not... That's not all the paths, I think. I think there's more. I think there's more paths that we uh, have yet to take. Because this area had more, well, effectively tightropes, I guess you could call them. Yeah, I did not expect to be able to walk on these. I actually think that's really dastardly. It's a shame I can't walk on that one, because that one seems to go somewhere too, but I don't think that's accessible. Actually, I'll check again. Hold on. Hmm. Nope. No, that doesn't go anywhere. Not an accessible path, in fact. Okay. Good to know. Like, there's... Yeah. Even the screen to the, the, screen to the left of that does not have that lead to anywhere, so... Um, Alright, let's check out around here, then. Um, is what I would say, but none of those paths are actually available to me. That's fine. Well, what, what, let's go this way then. Alright, alien room. Hello. I still don't think there's anything to do here. That, granted, I could check. Nope, nothing here. It is really a dead end. Alright, moving on. Then again. Scared? No? Okay. Figured I'd check. <laughs> Back to imp mode. This is towards the 
yeah. Confirm that that is all just a dead end. There's nothing there. Hi, Mephi. Hope your, uh, hope your Spooktober nap didn't get too many nightmares. Uh, we are, we are exploring and trying to find everything in Black Astral right now. Thing is, though, it's rather hard to find all the paths. Okay, so this room... Hold on a second. I'm going to continue to pull up little guides as I, as I go through this. Hold on. Personal things to check. Right, so... Okay. Finister. Teleport player to Float Temple. Float Temple. Float Temple. Just do a little research. Hmm. Transfer player to a, a stilk. Ah, here it is. This should lead us to. Yes. Okay. Yeah, this will lead us to here, which. Oh! Yeah, so we've got to the right in this room, and we let we were lead, led to looking at a Moonlight guy. And that's it. Uh, that's all for that room. So, what about... Interesting. 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 Sorry, I'm just like learning something. This this next area we're coming up on definitely has something going on, and I'm trying to study it a bit since it's very confusing. So where does that connect to? Transfer player to gang down. Twenty six oh twelve. Edit. Right there? Curious. Well, that's right in front of another door. <sighs> hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Right, let's hop inside. I'm gonna go in there. So, from my research, right, there is more going on with this place. Definitely. Let's see if the mask does anything for me. Well, look at that. They ran away. Fantastic. I'm not sure this is quite as fantastic, but it does look like we're not the ritual sacrifice, at least. Oh. Acquired Spectre. Oh, okay. He laughed creepily at us. We bludgeoned him with a cane. He disintegrated. We took his ghost. And I think that and now everybody now it's quiet in here, so I guess that I guess that kind of killed the mood for the ritual or something they were doing. Um, alright, Spectre, cross the threshold. Oh, this was fast. What are the effects state for this? Apparently Spectre uh, allows me to float like Imp. So this is a combination of Imp and Harry, in fact. It lets you do both, apparently. Well, that's actually quite handy. 
I'm not sure if it does anything else, but I'll take it. Does not let me go through people, despite the fact that I'm literally a ghost. <laughs> Wait, wrong one. Uh, mask. Okay. Oh, they come right back as soon as I take the mask off. Interesting. Oh, I somehow maintained the speed effect. Alright, let's go up here? I don't know if I like this. Clear enough problem there, but oh well, whatever. Okay, so there's a left path here, and a right path here, and... What am I looking at? It looks like a leg and like a lower torso. I don't quite know. Huh. Last bits of a golem. That's not a bad it's not a bad interpretation actually. What about over here? Oh, it's you again. Um Oh, that did do something. What is the meaning of this? You stole her guys. That is not possible. Unless... Unless you have taken something that does not belong to you. You will return it. You will return it now. And you will pay. Acquired soul bit. What? A fragment of something's evil, not usable. Ah. That's the... What happened? Where Where am I right now? Where... Door. But also... Back there. But also door. Sh wait. You know what I want to check? I'll go to the door in a second, but this area, this entire area seems to have, seems to have shifted a bit. Is the golem any different? No. Okay. All right, doorway it is, I suppose. Like somebody suspended in like a water tank or something. She trapped me here. Enslaved my soul. Has she taken yours too? Too late for me. But maybe you. Get the priestess. A servant of something evil. Seems to make the same sound that the thing that was talking to us was making. 
Oh, good. We got the creepy left foot now, too. Uh, okay. Well, goodness me, that was odd. <laughs> this game is getting darker and darker the more we play it. I... I don't know what to say. Okay, I know... Okay, just... I need to check something. Need to check something. There is one thing I don't know how to access. And I don't know how to access it because I'm not sure what event calls it. What event calls? What even is this? Yes, that's right. What event calls bot three? Hmm. There is a room, a location that one cannot naturally walk between it and a previous room. If one attempts to leave this room, they will end up in the long hallway, the area of the two bloody bowls. They'll end up there, but it's a one-way exit. So this does not tell me how to enter the room, only how to leave it. It's a map that I see in the files, and it's one we have not seen. But as far as how we enter it, I don't know the natural way, but I have one thing I can say about it. If I can't enter it naturally, I can at least unnaturally enter us, if you guys want me to. That is to say, I can make my own warp. But, if there was any triggers that were supposed to trigger with entering that area, then I wouldn't be able to follow the logic, the lines of that. So that's the tricky thing about that. Hmm. Well, it seems to be the only I'm looking at the I'm looking at the all the maps in the game right now. And that seems to be the only place we haven't seen, unless I'm mistaken. Now, like I said, this game was well, I don't know if I said this, but the game is not actually finished. So we've actually gotten every effect now. Which is why I immediately wanted to look it up and see if there's anything else I had missed. And yeah, I think that's the only thing, as far as I could tell that we have not seen. Well, okay, there's one exception to that. How do we get there? Hmm. Wait. No, that's a dead end. Wait, what? Okay, does that go to Hula? That goes to Hula. And where does Hula? These these map names are bizarre. Where, how do I get to Venstre? How do I get to Op? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's a few more places we have yet to visit. I'll lead us to one now. Though I am uncertain as to whether or not I can figure out how to enter it properly, but. Yeah. If push comes to shove, I will simply enter places improperly, but let me attempt the proper method of entry, entry first. Alright, so if we go through here, put the mask on so they don't get out of here. Alright. Keep on Spectre, because Spectre is very quick and useful. Yes, yeah, so there's an exit right where I'm standing right now. There's an exit to there. But how to enter the location that exits out to here? Not sure about that. More importantly for now, though, let's go this way. This leads to Op. This leads to Hula. This leads to Code Blip. At least I think it does. Let me double check that. 
Wait, this isn't, this isn't the room. Wait a minute, something's not right here. How could a, that wouldn't, that wouldn't make any sense. If this leads to, hold on. I think I just got bamboozled. That should lead to Op. No, that leads to Vince Stray. Op is... Oh, okay. Wow, this game is so tricky, it's freaking project files are creating cryptic situations. Right, in here. Remember this? Apparently... This is called Hula, this room. That's kind of interesting. Um... I believe... If I am correct, and I might be wrong, I never know. But this place might lead to code blip. Uh, code clip two. But the question is, how? Hmm. I think what I will do being that nothing here seems to make any sense in the files I'm looking at. Um, oh, thank you, Team Eisen. Thanks for coming by. Can you walk across the pit to the left? Oh, that's true. I do have the Spectre. Let's try it. Oh, no. Doesn't look like it. If anything could do it, it'd be Spectre. There are some weird... Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and glitch our way into these areas. Why not? I feel pretty dumb with this game. We did get all the effects naturally without any cheating, so... So, oh yeah, the title? Oh, this, it says so in the broadcast. It's, this is Black Astral. Hello, Billy. Yumi Nikki fan game, though, it definitely eans, leans more into horror than Yumi Nikki does, I'd say. All right, I'm at a loss on how to naturally navigate to certain areas, so I'm going to set myself up with a little bit of a... I guess you'd call it... A little bit of a nexus dimensional travel thingy, I guess? I don't know. I don't know how you put it. Give me one second. That's weird. I can't even find the Nexus. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Just bear with me as I put together a little... I don't know how to put it. Let's set a graphic. Uh, we'll do... <laughs> you know what? Just for fun. I'll make my little modification a little... have a little flair.
That should do it. Here we go. Now if I put this here... Does this match up? I think it does. It looks like it does. <laughs> doesn't quite work. Okay. Well, it is an old version of RPG Maker. I'm not too surprised. Right. In that case... Oh, it's not showing? The game tile's not showing properly? That's a, that's weird. It should be, but I guess it isn't. So be it, I suppose. Just a moment as I set something up. Okay, let's see. So what is the resolution here? It is... 32 by... Interesting, interesting. Yes, that does make sense. Twenty four by thirty two, then. Okay. That's really all I need to know. I'm doing something that a little bit entertaining. I think some of you will approve of this. Okay, 24 by 32. Which means... This will all make sense shortly. All right, that's twenty four. Now, ah, 31, perfect. Right then. <laughs> this is amusing, actually. I'm quite amused with myself. Right, let's see. Put that right there. There we go. That should be acceptable. Now just to see if it plays ball with my with my uh, addition. It probably will. Okay. There we go.
Okay, a little glitchy, but it'll do. Oh, thank you, Crimson. That's very kind of you. Though it is odd that that's off-center. Almost as if... Also, congrats, you completely destroyed the moon. Woo! <laughs> That's fine. Interesting, now that's off center. Hmm. How odd. Well, I suppose that'll do. Fill the candy bowl. It's quite full. Also, I, I do apologize, this is slightly boring, but... Trust me, I am doing something that some of you will appreciate. Right. Because then we can see the rest of the... whatever. Alright, move that over approximately... Hmm. Four pixels? I want to say four pixels. Yeah, should suffice. And then remove the uh, left uh, most edge. What is that again? That is up middle. Meaning that those two cross over incorrectly. Which means... One more. That should be fine, correct? Yes, there we are. Perfect! <laughs> right. Just the way I needed it. Okay then! Then play sound effect, and I bet it just exists, doesn't it? There it is. All right, I have it set. One moment, please. So like I said, we're gonna visit a few areas that I can't honestly figure out how to get into the game right now. In fact, those areas, these areas might not even be accessible by normal means. It's entirely possible that these areas are just something that we're in development, but we're gonna access them regardless. So, I'll start from the bottom. Okay, there we go. And I know that took me a little bit, but now I'm all set to really do this fast, so give me a minute. 
I'm not even sure if all of these areas are actually areas we haven't been to. I don't recognize them, so I'm gonna I'm gonna explore that one thing at a time. So uh, let's copy that. Ah, right. You remember to lock its a direction. Fixed graphic, there it is. I'm just pulling out a little bit of my RPG Maker skills to do a silly little thing while I uh, set this up for us. Alright, so. I don't think I've been here. Have I been here? Sure. Let's put ourselves right there. And let's go to... Yes, yes, we've been there. That's the one, isn't it? B chamber. Certainly bought three. Interesting. Okay. All right. Your patience is appreciated. We're almost done here. I saw an opportunity, I was like, I'll take this opportunity. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna send us there too. <laughs> if I can't tell what a room is, I'll send us to it. <laughs> I'll send us to where I think ground is, basically. That should suffice, I think. All right, I do believe I have found every location I don't recognize. Oh, wait. Except for... Okay, I guess this might count. All right. Uh... Very perplexed of the room I just found. I'm not sure what to say about it. God, what... <laughs> 2003 was actually a decent version of RPG Maker, but it still got a lot of jank to it. Just how it, um, how to put it. It just, the way it assembles itself is really bizarre. So we have a bizarre, oh, that's, uh, right, that's just, okay. Right? Almost done. Almost out of interesting rooms. I think. Okay. Serves, seems like there's actually quite a few I don't recognize, so that's interesting. And it's entirely possible there's a way to get into these, but honestly, I was tired of looking. I had found all the secrets I could find with the editors, so... Alright, that's all of them. Good. Okay. Alright then. Now... To place what I have done. Right then. Now all we need to do... I'm basically ready to go, but before I... We need to, we need to unspect her. We need to pray. There's a ritual to do. We gotta unspect her. You gotta stop being a ghost. You gotta pray. 
And then you gotta... Then you gotta leave the Nexus. And then you gotta... Walk out. And you gotta save. Alright. There. Alright then. Now that I've done all that, I go out here, I hit save on this. Save. Save map data. I wait a moment. And then I load back up the game. And then I continue, load this file, and we go back to the Nexus. Right then, here is me. Me is a teleporter. I just threw a whole bunch around, they should all be accessible. Yep. Now let's see. This is the debug room. Apparently you can get specters here, but I think we already have them. So we don't have them here, but this is apparently a debug room. There's really only one way out in these situations. We'll have to use prayer. Which is easy enough. Alright, next next to me here. This room. I seem to be stuck in whatever I decided to spawn, but I don't know where the fuck this room was, but here's this room. Oh yeah, the sad thing is because if we're entering this way, we may or may not hear the music that plays in these rooms. But that's alright. <laughs> Again, there's probably some legitimate way to visit at least some of these rooms, but since I'm confused and also getting kind of tired, I figured I'd do it the way that made the most sense to me. Third me. Oh, this actually is walkable, sort of. Maybe a uh, imp could do more? No. Slightly walkable. Not very walkable, but slightly walkable. I'm not sure what's up with this room, but here's this. Fourth me. Oh, I guess the music transitions are totally a thing, something that could happen. This room. Caught my attention on the uh, website, actually. There's nothing to do here, I don't think. And if I go down. I'm here. Wait a minute, this isn't... This isn't right. The bulls. They should be bleeding of blood, but they aren't. What the hell? Oh, did they stop bleeding after we got the, like, all the effects in this building? I think that might have been the case. They stopped bleeding once we interrupted the ritual or whatever. Oh, now they're bleeding again. What the fuck? Did I just find some weird glitch by creating a... Papa Warp? Maybe. It's kind of interesting, actually. I, I basically canceled some of the effects, but in the process that looked very interesting. Alright, next one. Oh. 
This room doesn't seem to have warps in and out of it. I, I think? And also, it's kind of weird looking. So this might be an area that was under development. Uh, it's cool though. I like it. Yeah, there's no way in or out from what I- Oh wait, hold on, I take that back. What- what did I just do? This was this game never actually finished, as far as I'm aware. As far as I'm aware. Yeah, I could tell that this is not finished. Oh, yeah, there's a worm. I can tell this is very not finished given the collision is all over the place in here. So I do believe we're just looking at rooms that were in development that I just found in the files while I was editing. Alright, I think this one actually sends us to the room we were just in, the room that was I didn't know connected to the other one. No, this is not... Well, it is, but it isn't? Can I go up here? Wait, this is definitely not the same room. Um... This is even kind of a path? I don't think it does. There is a wall here, though, oddly enough. Just not in most of this area. Actually, this looks similar to a room we were in before, but that room did definitely didn't like like let me climb the ceiling. Weird. All right, second to last, fat puppa. Let's do this. One. Alright, this is just this room. But yeah, so this is the room that connected the other room that we actually accessed because I didn't know it connected. That's because you need the RTP pack. It's basically the default asset packs that all RPG Maker 2003 games use. And some other versions. Oh, and this just leads... Okay, we have been here. This is the room where we... This is where we got Priestess. So, with all that being said, and with the nexus of the worlds filled with Shadoxes, I think that we are about done here. So, let's save since we have filled the nexus with Shadoxes, thus, thus mean we have made progress in some form. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I guess we're done. I don't know. Did the hey the rain stopped? It's back to the uh, mist. I just realized. And he still won't leave, right? Yeah, he won't. So yeah, unfinished game, but still really neat. Honestly, I had a good time with this one. This gave me some cool vibes. Definitely, this is definitely the creepiest of the games we played tonight. I'd say. I rather enjoyed this. But in any case, I hope you also all enjoyed it. This was Black Astral. Probably a game that will never get finished. I don't believe the last release was terribly recent. Oh, I can check that actually, hold on. 2019, July 28, 2019 was the last release. Not impossible that somebody would come back to this, but looks kind of abandoned at the moment. Honestly, that's a bad thing about a lot of Yume Nikki fan games. They tend to get uh, unfinished and never finished. People just add some cool ideas, do some cool stuff, and then just stop. That's typically what happens. It seems like Yume Nikki fan games have the same curse as the Sonic fan game community in that regard. <laughs> Making really neat things with a lot of promise, but never finishing them. <laughs> but, nonetheless, even an unfinished project can leave an impression. Black Astral proves that very clearly, I fail. I feel. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed, and this will be the last game of tonight's stream. 
But come back on Halloween. We will be having more spooks then. Ha, 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 ha.